Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we're learning how to add a download button to your website. So let's check it out right now. Let's open that site up. So this is our site with an image, a video and an audio. So the video plays here, audio plays there and we have these three download buttons that represent each of these items. So if I click download image, I see a download thingy coming here. Download video, same thing and download song, same thing. So let's create our very own. So let's fire up Notepad. And as usual, we'll start with our styling, our style tags. So opening and closing style tag like that. Today we're not adding a body tag, so I'm just adding a div to represent the uh, header. Okay, because as you can see, we have this uh, nice header here. Okay, so let me save this file before we go any further. Uh, let me create a new folder and name it uh, web as we normally do. Let's save this document as home.html and save as all files and save. So before we go any further, we have to copy our media files or these three uh, media files. We copy them into the same folder as our website. So let's, let's do that just now. So this one is named image.jpg song.mp3 video.mp4 so that's important to keep in mind so let's uh, give this heading some text downloads like that okay so below these guys let's add our image we know how to add images by now uh, like that so let me add a video now so we do the opening video tag and the closing video tag like that Let's give it a source. Uh, we do that by typing source equal, uh, no, no, src equals close the tag. So we know our video is video dot mp4, okay? But here we make sure we have the controls. So let's type controls in there. So let me just copy this because it's exactly like the audio, except here we have to change this to audio and there to audio and we change the file reference to song.mp3 because that's what the song is named. The image, however, is named uh, image.jpg. Okay, so let's uh, save that and see what we have so far. So let's uh, fire our, yeah, there we go. That's our website. So we have the title downloads, the image, the video, and the audio, but they don't look too good. So let's tile them right now. So let's begin this tiling uh, process. So to start with, let me uh, give a header style here. Let me create uh, a class called media. Let me create another class called button. Oh, button, not bottom. Okay, so let's go to media first of all. And let's say um, I want to control the height of these items to be 300 pixels each and uh, that's pretty much it so let's go to each of these and give the reference the class right here like so it's the media class so we make sure all these items are utilizing this class now here you might be tempted to use this source but you have to do it at the top there okay so let's see what that does and it reduces these guys accordingly okay to a height of 300 pixels but then let me leave a margin of 10 pixels uh, pixels let's see what that does and at least there's some space between them let's deal with the header right now so let's go to the header and let me give it a background image a uh, background color rather so the color rgb let's get our rgb values from our paint this blue right here so let me click to see what's making the blue uh, those are the values right there. We have a 0 for R, 180 for green, and 214 for blue. Okay. So let me give uh, this header a height of uh, 70 pixels. Let me make sure the text is aligned in the center like that. Okay. And uh, what else? The font size. I want the font size quite big, uh, 30 pixels like that. So let's see what that does to our website. Uh, nothing. Uh, why? Header. Oh, because the div 
has not been named header so id equals let's name it header okay let's refresh and we have it so i want the color white and a different font so let's do that right now color uh, white okay uh, font uh, family uh, let's try helvetica this time okay helvetica and let's see how that works out and pretty awesome it's cool so here let's uh, add some more stuff below so to start with let me add a horizontal rule which is like a break tag but it's a horizontal break it adds a line below so you see that uh, line like that okay so let's add some buttons now buttons we can add them several ways but here we we'll just use this method where you open it a button tag and close another tag let's give it uh, some text there and say download image for a change so let's see what happens and there we have a button just like that so let's copy this button uh, and make three copies one two three okay here we say download uh, a video here we say download audio okay so let's make sure we utilize this button class here so let's give it a class equals button like that so let's uh, see let me copy this paste there and in there now let's give this uh, button class some uh, properties for example so the background color is exactly the same as the one in the header so let's just copy that and paste and then let me give it uh, a border that is solid one pixel and white let me give it a width of uh, a fixed width of 100 uh 150 rather 150 pixels a height of uh, 40 pixels like that let me see how these buttons look now there we go they look pretty awesome so now let me um change the color to white okay color white okay so the text looks better but we'll add something else called border radius okay border radius like that it gives them a rounded edges so let me, let's add uh, 20 pixels for example and you see these buttons change to rounded corners like that it's because of the border radius so these buttons are working now but they're not uh, doing anything yet because they don't have any links associated with them so let's give them links like that as we know how to create links now a tag so opening a tag let me copy that paste here and there and the closing a tag copy paste paste okay all right so the whole button is wrapped around an a tag like that now in the tag let's uh, refer to image.jpg in here and the video.mp4 here and audio.mp3 in there so what have we done so far let me refresh this and let's click here and you see it sends us to the image the same thing will happen to the video and the same thing will happen to the audio oh can't find that uh, file why is that oh because it's called song instead of audio all right so let's refresh and try that again okay everything working nicely but this is not what we want we want it to download so what do we do we go back to the edge just inside this uh, uh, a tag and we just type download just that word download is enough to change everything so let's see what that does now let's refresh the page click image and you see a download thing come up video same thing audio same thing but you see you notice that the name of the song comes out as song.mp3 but sometimes you may want to give it a different name than the one that's on the website so to do that you just here and the download button give it a value let's say new title download equals new title like that and so when i try to download this image it won't be image.jpg anymore it will be new title.jpg and that's how you uh, make sure your items on the website are downloadable you can copy this to the rest of the buttons but it's unnecessary because now we know the principle behind it so if you have any questions please leave a comment uh, like the video subscribe so that you don't miss any videos in the future and until next time i hope you've learned something goodbye <laughs>